Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well, and as the uh, the sort of the title suggests, I'm going to be trying to get some of my own football shirts printed. Um, so I kind of referred to this video in one of my previous ones, the one where I bought that Chelsea home shirt, the one that I wasn't too sure about its authenticity. Um, I'm just going to say it is legit because everything proves to it being so. Um, so. Obviously, I am a Chelsea fan, and uh, I've, I suppose I've been collecting Chelsea shirts since I started supporting the club in 2000, 2001, and I've always tried to get a player on the back. Um, it's just more of a memento and a way to look back and remember and reminisce about the good times. And obviously, as I get older, I get further from the sort of the shirts that I wore when I was younger. It might become a little bit more difficult to remember those particular players. And when I look through the collection, I go, oh yeah, Hasselbank, what an amazing player he was. Um, so I try to get different players most of the times. Um, some of the sort of key players like Lampard and Terry and Drogba, they were featured, you know, a few times. But um, now I'm trying to cover pretty much everybody so sometimes I don't necessarily get the best player at the club at that point um, but like I said I just want to get everybody uh, a fair chance so uh, I have a few holes to fill in my current collection um, obviously the younger when I was younger I would only get shirts when I was getting birthday presents or Christmas presents so I still have a few to fill up there and then most recently I have a few to fill up because I either just missed out because I was too too slow to buy them or I had things going in my other personal life that I just I wasn't really interested in buying sort of shirts. Or I was buying like for my main collection and I kind of neglected the Chelsea shirts, which is a bit weird because the Chelsea shirts are kind of the most important part. So I kind of feel a little bit bad that I did that. Um, so I'm just trying to fill those gaps. Now, obviously I'd buy pre-owned, but I would have to buy with the player on the back. And it gets a little bit more difficult because the players that I'm looking to get, some of them are a little bit less popular. They're not as um, well known as, as sort of the other ones. So the people that are likely to print them, very few and far between, which makes buying it more difficult. Luckily for me, though, I have a friend, a friend who watches these videos. And we've been going back and forth on Instagram for quite a while now. We talk about football shirts. We talk about f uh, printing and just football in general. And he says... Um, um, if there's any shirts that you get that don't have it on, um, we'd be happy to help you out with that and uh, get some some players printed on that you prefer. Um, I was like, that sounds amazing. So this friend is called Premier Shirts, uh, Premier Shirts Ashford. They're based on uh, Instagram and they have their own website also. And they offer um, shirt printing services. So you can either just send in your shirt and then you can specifically ask for the player the number that you want on the back so say for instance you chose your Chelsea shirt for this season you send it in and you want Lukaku you get Lukaku easy peasy they only use the official numbers letters patches they don't just have Premier League they have Europe so for me that was good I wasn't I know there's some places that you can buy you can do it and they'll just use generic lettering and it's not the real stuff and it probably looks okay but it won't really last that long and I think I might as well have the real thing, you know, just make it all as good as and authentic as I possibly can. So that um, opened up it up for me for a little bit when I come to buy these shirts. So I don't necessarily have to worry about trying to find these obscure players. I just need to find a shirt size in a decent condition and then buy it. And then I can add the player later, so long as they have the uh, numbers and the letters available, of course. So I have three shirts now that I have got next to me here that I'm going to be sending down to my friend. And uh, hopefully when they return, they will all look very nice with my selected players on. So of course, you'll remember this one, the Chelsea shirt that I bought. It's of course last season's home shirt. The one we wore won the Champions League in. Obviously at the moment, there is nobody on the back of that one. And I did mention that I was going to be getting Kai Havertz on this one because of course it kind of makes sense. I don't have him in the collection. And um, to have him on the back of the Champions League winning shirt and he's the winning goal scorer, it just really makes sense. So that one I'm pretty excited to get done. So the next one is from the season prior to that. So it's 2019-2020 and it's this one. So it's the away shirt. The reason why I didn't get this one was simple. I just missed out. Um, this one it was pretty popular. I can, I can see why. Um, the Chelsea white shirts uh, usually do go quite well. Um, it has the lovely trims, the blue, and I don't mind a bit of red on um, on a Chelsea shirt, if I'm honest, as long as it's not too crazy. 
Um, so of course this one doesn't have anybody in the back either. Now I'm not still not 100% certain who I want to get on the back, so I won't reveal it now. I think that's a little bit of a surprise for you guys in the second part of this video. But um, I'm very pleased to finally get this shirt because I hadn't really seen it for sale uh, too, uh, too often. So to finally be able to get it and then get it personalized would be very nice. And this next one, this one is the return of a shirt. What do you mean? So it is the season prior to that one. So it's 2018, 2019, and it is the third shirt. And it's this one. This one that Nike released, and it has the uh, sort of overhead view of Stamford Bridge. Nobody on the back. Very nice. One of my favorite Chelsea shirts recently uh, released. So you say, why was this returned? Well, I had this shirt. And I had it personalized with Rudiger on the back. Probably one of the only few people who got Rudiger. And um, I don't have it anymore because I had a girlfriend, right? And um, she wasn't really interested in football at all, to be honest. But she did quite like this shirt when I'd wear it. It's good design, nice color. And because we were in sort of long distance, I goes, well, if you want to take this with your back, you can sort of hold on to it, you know, as a memento and a sentimental thing and, you know, reminder of me, you know, that sort of thing. And that was fine until, of course, the relationship ceased to exist and um, she still had possession of this shirt. And then when I asked for this shirt to be returned, I get no response and the shirt never returns. So that was great. Um, I didn't have anything of hers, so I couldn't even hold that ransom. Um, so I'd lost a shirt and I'd spent some time looking on like eBay and stuff like that to see if it was being sold. And even then, I don't know what I would have done. Like, would I have bought my own shirt? And then, of course, it would have been... She'd have seen it come on for delivery, my address. Um, but I didn't find it. So if anybody is uh, in Hull or lives near Hull or sees a Rudiger shirt for sale, it's probably mine. I don't think there's many people who would have gone for that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Rudiger again on the back of this shirt. Um, it sort of comes full circle and it kind of sort of writes that wrong. I kind of do feel a little bit annoyed that I have had to buy it again. But, um, you know, there's a pro top tip for you. Don't give away your football shirts to your girlfriends or your boyfriends because if you break up, they won't ever return them to you. I suppose next time I find a girlfriend, I want to find somebody who's interested in football shirts at the very least. So at least they'll uh, appreciate the fact that I would... Uh, want my shirt back or maybe because they are interested in the shirts they would actually keep it because they want it for their own collection hmm seems like a bit of a double-edged sword that one okay well if that ever happens i don't think there's that many girls out there who do like football shirts so i might be waiting quite some time anyway enough about my own personal failures um let's just get these shirts personalized um i'm going to send them off in the post uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, from what I understand, it's a pretty fast turnaround. And then when they receive, I receive them in post uh, back again, I will just open them up for you in the second part of this video and we'll see what they look like. So fingers crossed everything goes well. I have absolutely utmost faith in uh, my friend at Premier Shirts Ashford. And, um, you know, let's uh, see how it goes. A few moments later. Look what I've got here. Now, firstly, I will say that yes, there are some continuity errors from the first part to the second, with the main one, of course, being the fact that I'm wearing a different t-shirt. But we are not here for that. We are here to see what is inside the parcel to ensure that everything is spelt correctly, positioned correctly, the players that I ordered, and, of course, the shirts that I sent. I did joke with him saying, it would be funny if you sent me some Arsenal shirts, wouldn't it? Ha ha ha. But we are here. Turnaround was impeccable customer service was impeccable once again amazing um absolutely great um experience so i guess i best open it up before i uh, truly say how remarkable it was but um i'm not afraid of anything weird going on let's see what is inside and i can add three more shirts to my collection da, 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 da. right then the first one i can see is this little blue number now, who did we say we were having on the back of that one? Ooh, yeah. It was Mr. Kai Havertz, wasn't it, eh? How about that? Not too bad. 
it works perfectly well for the uh, shirt indeed. And let's have a look at the, uh, the detail. It looks very well put together, I'll admit. Good quality, no issues, spelt correctly. Um, so I will say that on this one, particular one, he sent me a message saying, oh, by the way, I've noticed a tiny, and I use the word tiny in its literal sense, small red mark on one of the numbers. Um, he says, um, you can, I can just send it to you or I can um, wash it and use some sort of solution and get rid of it. And I'll admit to you, <laughs> if I would have received it, I probably wouldn't have even noticed it. It was minuscule. But he goes, no, you can go for that if you want. You can wash it. And I, you know, it doesn't bother me if you wash it. Um, and looking at it, there is no red mark. Unless it's still there and it's just that small, I've not seen it. But um, that's the level of customer service you get. It's um, small attention to detail, which is kind of important in this sort of thing. So I'm very, very pleased to have that one. So that's one I can tick off the uh, the old book there. So um, one have it has arrived. So we'll just position you there. Next we have, okay. So we'll put the next one away because it's the away one. That's the mystery one. So... We have the third shirt. Of course, I was getting Rudiger on the back again. Oh, yes. We have Rudiger on the back of this one. There it is. And it has the little umilots above the U, which I don't think my other one had. So it's uh, even better. It makes it a little bit more genuine, even though, of course, I got it from the real place last time also. So it's one of those things. Um, so, there we go. That has now closed that book. I am now back owner of the Rudiger shirt. Very, very nice. Really good quality printing again. No issues. Well put together. All spelt correctly. Very, very nice shirt. And that just makes it all the better. So, that's two out of three. Um, get rid of the parcel. Now then, it's the away shirt. And I wasn't sure who I was going to get on the back of this one. So let's see who I've gone for. Da, 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 da. So there's the front. And here is the rear. Now I do need to obviously uh, sort of let it get the creases out from it, obviously being folded, um, being packaged away. But I've gone for Reese James himself. Currently one of my favorite players that Chelsea has, possibly the best right back in the world. Liverpool fans, I know what you're thinking. But I'm very, very pleased with that. Reese James is uh, one of our best young talents right now. It was either going to be him or Hudson Adai. And uh, I've gone for James just because, um, firstly, I felt like it was probably better if I did because there's a lot of letters to use for Hudson Adai. Um, but very, very nice. Very, very cool. And that kind of um, that makes that shirt just look a little bit better. So, three more new, well, additions to the Chelsea shirt that I can hang up. Um, not really got much space to be honest that one is already to the full and it's very heavy and there's no real balance on that side so it kind of wants to tip over a little bit so I'm going to have to branch out the rail behind I think and just remove some of my other generic shirts but as for the shirt printing very very good I just want to say a big thank you to Premier Shirts Ashford honestly guys if you are interested in getting some of your shirts personalised hit them up they have Instagram account they have a website um, I probably have a Twitter as well um, so hit them on there and um, they will, they'll sort you out they've got all official stuff I couldn't recommend them anymore and um, I'm probably going to be going to use them at some stage again um, depending on I do have a few more shirts to get um, and, and find um, particularly from the season for the third shirt the 2018-19 I need the home and the away so if I don't be able to get one without um, with the player on the back I'll just get one without and, and send it down to them and they can print it for me like with these ones but um, yeah very very pleased very very happy and that's the three chess shirts that I got um, for a very reasonable price so very very happy um, that's it really what, what have I got planned now for the week after I don't know to be honest uh, I do have quite a few shirts arriving. I've started getting my Christmas presents arriving from that I'm going to be gifted by other people. Um, so that'll be obviously following Christmas Day. But um, we'll, we'll have something going on. I'm, I'm sure I can pull something out. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good weekend uh, ahead. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Goodbye.